Hi ladies, seven outdated fashion trends is exactly what I'm here to talk about in today's video. Do you ever wake up in the morning and you're about to get dressed, you're about to put something on and you think to yourself, huh, is this item still in style or is this gonna make me look like totally dated if I put this item on? Well, if that is you, then you have come to the exact right spot. So grab your coffee and get comfortable because along with these seven outdated, out of style fashion trends, I'm also gonna be sharing what you should be wearing instead. And of course, like I always say, I'm never ever here to tell you what to do. So please take what you like and leave the rest. Make sure you listen to this entire video because the last thing I'm gonna share is actually a brand new fashion trend that is so in style this season and I honestly can't believe it. It's something that I used to wear in middle school and I will admit back in the day, I loved this trend. However, I'm not so sure how I feel about it. I feel like I'm kind of on the fence about this trend and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be trying it. But I would love it if you would listen to it, stick around, and then let me know down below in the comments if you will be wearing this amazing new fashion trend. Okay, trend number one that is outdated and completely out of style, and that is the cold shoulder fashion trend. So we saw this last year and the year before, and maybe even the year before that, but you know what I'm talking about, those cold shoulder t-shirts. I definitely owned a few in my day, and I'll have to admit I loved them, but they are definitely outdated and out of style now, so ditch those. And instead you can try just wearing like a subtle cutout. So this is a good American bodysuit and it basically has just like a little dip down in the chest area. So this is a very subtle sort of cutout. It's not over the top. I've had this bodysuit for over a year now and it's one of my favorite things to wear underneath jackets, especially for like date nights or girls night out. A little update on my divorce. I do have a court date set March 24th, ladies. Like fingers crossed, please say a prayer for me that we actually end up settling before that because I really do want to get on here on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram account. I'm so Heather blog over there if you don't follow me and really start sharing about why I got divorced. I've actually been married twice and I've had two failed marriages. So I really want to get into why that happened and the work that I've done on myself, but I really can't start doing that until my divorce is final. So I did just want to give y'all a quick update and also want to let you know, I'm so grateful that you're listening to my videos, that you watch my videos, because without all all of you, I wouldn't be able to do what I love. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get back to that fabulous, subtle cutout black bodysuit. I topped it with this super soft blank NYC faux fur jacket, you guys. This jacket, I'm pretty sure it's under $100. It is incredibly soft. It would be perfect to wear on the holidays, uh, perfect to wear on New Year's Eve, perfect to wear to a holiday party. If you're looking for like a fabulous faux fur jacket that you can wear over like fancy dresses, also with denim or pants, this one is the ticket. It's amazing, I absolutely love it. I decided to pair it with my amazing Veronica Beard Beverly Faux Leather Flares. You guys, I've talked about these before on my channel because they are that good, but they're so incredibly slimming. They're high-waisted with a floor-skimming hemline, and I really, really love this faux leather. It honestly looks and feels like real leather, but because it's faux leather, the price point on these leather-looking pants is actually pretty amazing. Trend number two that is completely out of style and outdated, and this one may be a little controversial, and I'm actually gonna show you a way you can still wear this trend and still make it look in style. And here it is, the low rise skinny jean, completely out of style. I know I've said that before on my channel, but it is. So if you still have some super low waisted, like jegging slash super duper skinny jeans, I would say get rid of those. However, if you did save some of your mid rise to high waisted skinny jeans, you can still wear them. And my suggestion is to wear them with knee high boots. So the one pair of skinny jeans that I did save, these are actually very high waisted. They're by A Gold E. And yes, these are a skinny jean, but I did save them because I wanted to wear them with my knee high boots because I honestly think that skinny jeans look the best with knee high boots. Let me know if you agree down below in the comments. So again, these jeans are faded black, so they're a great wash. They're gonna go with so many different things and faded black denim, you guys, 
is also very slimming. So it's not only versatile, but it's also gonna make you look taller and slimmer. I paired it with this fabulous camel sweater by ATM. You guys, I love this sweater. I'm wearing it today. It's soft, it's cozy. I really love this beautiful camel shade. I did do the little half tuck, as you can see, and then I paired it um, underneath this amazing faux leather and faux fur vest. This is just an easy sleeveless vest but I thought it looked amazing with these fabulous knee-high boots. These are actually by Saint Laurent. I did get them last year, but I'm pretty sure Mark Fisher makes an identical looking pair, but they're a fraction of the price. Now, if you didn't wanna go with the high-waisted modern skinny jean, you can always opt for the flare. So this is a high-waisted flare. Again, one of the most universally flattering styles of denim on the market. That would be the high-waisted flare. These are by Legence. They're a beautiful sort of charcoal gray color, you guys so comfortable they're gonna make your legs look miles long and i really love this charcoal gray wash it really just sort of adds a bit of uniqueness to any outfit and i love wearing camel and gray together that's really an unexpected color combination that always looks luxe and always looks expensive this is a gorgeous camel blazer also by legence i love the gold luxe buttons the fit is impeccable it sort of cuts in at the waist it's kind of in between an oversized blazer and a structured blazer but it's definitely more on the structured side and then again i just went with a simple black bodysuit and a pointy toe heel and finally, a very on-trend type of denim that everyone is wearing right now is the cargo jean. Do you love wearing cargo jeans? I would love to hear down below in the comments. I honestly do. I think cargo jeans are cool. I think they're fashion forward, and I love wearing mine. These are by Girlfriend Denim. They're super high-waisted, so they're gonna do a great job of making your legs look longer. I love this light gray wash. Again, a little bit more unique than say a typical black or blue denim wash. The pockets are great. This is a cargo jean, but it's not like overdone. That's what I don't like about some of the cargo jeans that I have seen. There's like so many pockets, so many things going on, and I don't really love that. So what I love about these is they're more of a minimal cargo jean because they don't have as many pockets. I did pair them with an amazing leather jacket. This one is from Girlfriend Denim off of the Revolve website. It is a bit on the oversized side, which is where the jacket trend is really heading. Doesn't mean you have to wear the oversized jacket. I suggest if you're gonna wear a little bit of an oversized jacket, keep everything else fitted um, on your silhouette. That way you will end up creating balance. That's why I went with a fitted bodysuit underneath this jacket. And then these cargo jeans are definitely more fitted. They're certainly not a skinny jean, but they're definitely not a wide leg jean either. So really love the way this edgy look turned out. Perfect for a date night or a girl's night out. Okay, the next trend that is definitely dated and out of style are cowl neck sweaters. So if you have any of those left in your closet, I would say ditch those and instead, you could wear a mock turtleneck sweater. I love this mock turtleneck sweater. This is real cashmere, you guys, and it is from Club Monaco. Club Monaco makes some of the best cashmere sweaters. Some of my favorite cashmere sweaters hanging in my closet are from Club Monaco, including this gorgeous black cashmere sweater. I think this is the sweater I will be wearing on Thanksgiving. It is so soft. It does come in several different colors, and I do love this modern mock turtleneck. Very stylish and very flattering. I paired it with this amazing faux leather uh, chocolate brown skirt from Express, so the price point is amazing. This is definitely under $100. I love this subtle slit up the front, and this beautiful chocolate brown color is really trending hard this fall and winter. Okay, the next trend that is completely dated and out of style, and I think I may get a few, mm, you know, I don't know, mean comments about this one because I still see people wearing this, and maybe you still love it, maybe you still have a few hanging in your closet, but if you do, I would suggest getting rid of them, and that is the plaid shacket. To be honest, I never really liked the plaid shacket. I don't really like wearing plaid. I don't know why, I just feel a little too preppy. I think when I was a little girl, my mom made me wear plaid sometimes and I hated it. Like I never wanted to be told what to wear when I was little. Even from the time I was like three and four years old, my mom would say like I was like hell bent on like I'm gonna wear what I wanna wear even at such a young age. So I never loved the fact that she kind of told me to wear plaid. I don't like it. I don't feel like the best version of myself when I wear it. So I'm skipping it. 
but the plaid jacket, it is definitely dated and it is out of style. So I would say stop wearing the plaid jacket and instead opt for a solid color. This one is from Express. It's actually faux leather. It is a beautiful solid black faux leather. I love the fact that it's a little bit cropped, which makes it look very stylish, a little bit more modern and definitely more on trend. I left it unbuttoned. This is under $100 by the way, and I paired it with a simple rust color tank. And then these are my favorite jeans from Express. They're called the Skyscraper. They're a mid-rise floor skimming hemline, so definitely they have an elongating effect on your silhouette. They're gonna make you look taller and slimmer. They're so comfortable because they do have stretch in them. And I love this medium wash to wear all year round. And you guys, these jeans are under $50. Yes, you heard me right, under $50. And trust me when I say they fit exactly like some of my designer denim in my closet. Okay, the next item you should ditch from your closet are riding boots. So I was honestly never a lover of riding boots. I think they're kind of plain. I think they're kind of boring. No offense, if you love wearing riding boots, like I said, take what you like and leave the rest. But if you don't wanna look dated, I would say stop wearing your riding boots and opt for some lug sole boots. So lug sole boots are not only functional, they're not only wearable, but they're also very on trend. They're also very modern and fresh looking and kind of a little bit cool girl looking. So I personally love a lug sole boot, especially if it has a heel. These are some old lug sole boots by Giovanni Rossi. They're sold out, but I did find a pair that literally looks identical from the Dillard's website. They are beautiful. They're an ivory suede lug sole boot. You guys, these are phenomenal. Like I said, they look just like the Giovanni Rossi ones, but instead of being $1,000, these are like, I don't know, a hundred and some odd dollars. They also come in black. They're so, so comfortable. They're just very cool, very versatile, very wearable. So highly recommend adding a pair of lug sole boots to your boot collection this season if you wanna look and feel more stylish. I paired them with these amazing modern straight leg slim jeans. These are a beautiful ivory shade. They are high-waisted. And then I went with a V-neck cashmere ivory sweater. I topped this look off with this gorgeous satin bomber jacket. You guys, this is a great bomber jacket. Something that you can keep in mind when you're wearing an all white winter ensemble is mixing textures is always a great thing because that's gonna create interest in your look. Also mixing shades of white will also elevate and bring interest to your look. So those are two things to keep in mind when wearing a monochromatic outfit. So love this satin bomber jacket. It's easy, it's casual, it's versatile. You could also wear this all white look with this amazing faux fur and faux suede moto jacket. This one is by Blank NYC. So the price point is amazing. You guys, the faux fur on the inside of this jacket is so incredibly soft. This jacket is cozy. I love pairing it over this yummy cashmere sweater. So if you live somewhere really cold, this would be a very stylish and on-trend winter look. All right, the next fashion trend that is dated and out of style are overly distressed jeans. You know, the ones I'm talking about with all the rips in them. So instead of wearing overly ripped denim, I would opt for wearing a pair of jeans that has maybe one or two rips in them or no rips at all. So these jeans by A. Gold E. Riley, there are no rips in them, but they are still subtly distressed on the hemline. They're also sort of vintage inspired and have the faded denim on them. So they're not like boring jeans, even though they don't have a lot of rips in them. These are a great medium wash that you can wear all year round. But I specifically love wearing these in the fall and winter because I think they look really good with like browns and camels. So I'm really loving this brown faux fur jacket. It's sort of like an oversized moto jacket. It's so comfortable, so soft. And like I said earlier, chocolate brown is a big, huge color for fall and winter. I paired it over a simple nude bodysuit. And then these are some amazing ankle booties by Veronica Beard, a gorgeous camel shade. This is actually, I think the 100 millimeter heel. They don't have this high of a heel available anymore, but I'm pretty sure you guys will be happy about that. They do offer a three inch heel in these exact boots. So they will be a little bit more comfortable. Although I think these are pretty comfortable 
for a four inch heel. So love these ankle boots. They're very versatile and very wearable. Okay, the next trend that is definitely dated is wearing hoodies with blazers. So we saw that look like last year and the year before and it is definitely on its way out. So instead of wearing hoodies and blazers, I would just opt for a simple t-shirt, a simple bodysuit, a simple sweater, and a fabulous blazer. So this is a gorgeous chocolate brown blazer from Express. It is very high quality. It has some really pretty buttons on it. The material is wrinkle free. I love this chocolate brown color. This would be a great uh, blazer you could wear to the office, but then you could also wear it out at night. It's very versatile. I love, love, love the fit of this blazer as well. It's sort of perfectly oversized, but not too overdone. I paired it over a simple ivory tank. And then you guys, these are my new favorite jeans. These are also called the skyscraper, but they're in a really cool and edgy faded black wash. I love the front seam all the way up and down the front of your leg. This is also gonna make your legs look longer and you look slimmer. Another really cool thing about these jeans is the front slit on the ankle. I think that really sets these apart. I wore these last night. They're also uber high-waisted. So they're a little bit more high-waisted than the regular skyscraper. Love, love, love these. Like I said, I honestly can't get enough of them. Okay, the one we've all been waiting for, the last trend that's actually not out of style. This is a new trend that I literally wore in middle school and I honestly cannot believe it is back in style and that is the stirrup pant. Have you seen these out? Have you seen these on websites? Have you seen any women wearing these yet? I honestly haven't seen anyone wearing these on the street yet, but they have been seen on some really amazing popular websites like the Revolve website, Forward by Elise Walker. Those are two of my favorite websites that I go to often to buy items, but also for style inspiration. And I'm not sure I'm a fan of the stirrups today. I certainly was when I was in like seventh in eighth grade, but today I'm not so sure how I feel about them. What about you? Do you think you'll be wearing this trend this season or will you be skipping this one? I kind of think I'm going to be skipping this one personally. So please let me know what your favorite look was because I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. For more style information, you can head over to my blog, SoHeather.com, and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope you have a beautiful day because you deserve it, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.